Happy Sunday. Smiling. I wasn't, I didn't used to be comfortable smiling. I don't know if I love my smile, like the picture of my smile. Uh, I was more of a smirker. Um, and I was, I, part of me was, I guess, I didn't want to be happy. Happy was always hung on what I needed to get to be happy. So if I was happy in this moment, I didn't think I'd get it in another. Didn't think it was something that could sustain my gratitude. If I say I'm grateful, then well, or if I'm happy, I'd be happier if, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't be happier if I got something else. Chase another version of chasing the there there. I'm not going to be happy until I get this thing, job, person, you know, go to this place, and all of that's about. At least when I think of get this person, this relationship, it's about possession and not about unconditional, not about sharing. At least in my you know in when I look at it through the framework of my selfishness. It's all about an expectation built on a narrative constructed by my, my history and all of the influences, the good and the bad, just influences. So, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy this moment. Still, for me, it's a practice to enjoy every minute, to not downshift into a mopey, sad sack and grump person. And all of that is mopey and grumpy and is, for me, is filtered through my victim the selfish low self-esteem I'm not good enough that's what that's filtered through it's the good news is it's an inside job the bad news is it's an inside job which just means it's challenging I'm not going to be able to take something to fix me that's been my experience. So now when I see all of these things exteriorly, take this, take that, do this, do that, escape all these feelings, it's not what I'm into. Not anymore. I had, but I had to overdose on all of that. And I'm still at times, I deceive myself into thinking I need that, but I don't act. And that's dis then I get discomfort and disease and another opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, happy Sunday. Peace, big light.